Namaste kings and queens, thank you for gracing my channel. Your presence is such a presence, so it's only right that I reciprocate you with the gift of guided messages. I'm sending you all peace, healing, love and prosperity, also health and wealth. If you are new, welcome. I am Intuitive Flow. If you are returning, welcome back, spiritual family. Before we have been, don't forget to like the video as it truly helps my channel grow. Hit that subscribe button if you resonate with me. And don't forget to hit that bell so you're notified every time I upload a beautiful reading. This is general, so take what resonates, please. Don't force anything to fit your situation. Um, and we're going to go ahead and hop right in. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the North Node or wherever you may have Capricorn in your chart. Now, I did pre-show for Capricorn, and I noticed I needed to wipe my camera, so that's why this card is already pulled, and I was guided to keep the card out. So, you got chemistry for the recent past. Um, there's a strong magnetic attraction here. So, I am getting energy in the recent past, you and your person could have developed a strong magnetic connection between the two of you. Um, this could tell me that you are dealing with somebody new. There's a new type of energy that has entered into your life. Um, or it's just um, an ongoing connection that there's a chemistry that just keeps on I'm hearing the flame just keeps on burning. It's getting hotter. I don't know why I just heard Nelly. It's getting hot in here. So take off all your clothes. Mm, so you could be um, connecting with someone where there's a strong sexual chemistry as well. All right, so let's see what's the current energy for Capricorn and their person. All right, we have, it is safe for you to love. So it is safe for you to love Capricorn. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. So I do feel like this chemistry is allowing you to open your heart to be a little bit more forthcoming, to be a little bit more available. I do feel like this chemistry is nothing like you've ever experienced. So um, it could come as a shock to some of you. Um, I do feel like this chemistry or this connection is being guided by your angels and your ancestors. Um, this is a new beginning for you. So um, again, I am getting, some of you guys may be slow to open your heart. Okay. If this is somebody you're rekindling a connection with, um, I feel like you're ready, okay, for others of you, I feel like it's somebody that you're needing to convince um, that it's okay for them to open up to you, they are safe with you, um, and that you have their best interests at heart. Um, all in all, there's chemistry here, so the connection is undeniable between you two. So for others of you, I'm feeling like you both are seeing that this is a safe and healthy dynamic between you two. All right, what's coming in for Capricorn? Religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Um, for some reason, I just heard Taurus. Some of you guys could be connecting with the Taurus. Um, but I do see what's coming in for this connection is some type of, um, it could be a, dis a discrepancy between the way you two see religion or spirituality. Um, some of you guys could just be on two different paths in regards to religion. I do see somebody um, who is actively practicing their religion or their spirituality. And then there could be one person who is kind of faking the funk is what I'm hearing. 
um, there could be someone who is saying that this is something that they're interested in or something that they're practicing. They could be just saying this only to get closer to you, Capricorn. So be aware of that, all right? Let's go ahead and clarify this chemistry. Be aware of the chemistry being so strong that it kind of um, disrupts the pure connection that this could really have um, with the Jasmine Celadon on. I felt so I'm getting the energy that someone in the past, either you or your person, was very volatile or very quick to act in a violent manner. Um, I'm getting uh, physical abuse. doesn't have to be on a person, but it could be the abuse of one's assets or property or something like that. Um, be aware, Capricorn, of not letting your um, emotions get the best of you in regards to this, all right? Because it's something new and something you may have never experienced, your emotions may be running wild. What's the chemistry card here? Tell us about the spirit. That was a four of swords as well earlier. Two of pentacles. Two of pentacles. So this card depicts two people kind of like becoming one, making um, a solid decision to not go back and forth in regards to this connection or this chemistry. Um, it is a new beginning too with the butterfly depicting on um, both people. Um, so I feel like this chemistry is leading you to, to kind of embark on this new beginning. Um, I do get the energy of the both of you kind of over the back and forth, the rigmarole, the struggling between what to do when it comes to romantic connections. I feel like there's a lot of room for this, uh, for this connection to grow with all the greenery here. Um, I do also see an energy with like only having eyes for you, somebody very well cloaking you with their love here, like they just want to, I'm hearing they just want to manifest in your love. There is some emotion here, so there could be a back and forth, yeah, in regards to the emotion, in regards to this chemistry here. Um, what is the state of space for you to love? Open up your heart and give. Open up your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Six of Swords. Yeah. Very significant because I did say that I do feel like um, angels are guiding this connection. Um, and Six of Swords normally can speak of you being divinely guided towards calmer waters here. Um, I do feel like Holy Spirit uh, wants you to know that it's okay to kind of go about this situation a little more lighthearted, a little more um, grounded in regards to your mental state. Don't let your mind get the best of you. All right, Capricorn, don't let your mind make you feel like you have to do something this way in order for this person to react uh, a way that you want them to. Kind of just go with the flow. Um, don't let any deceitful energy, um, conniving, uh, sneaky, because I feel like I'm getting the energy of Seven of Swords because I have the Six of Swords, there's a Seven of Swords, and 
maybe um, in your past you had to do like underhanding things or underhanded things, be kind of conniving and sly in regards to getting someone to do what you want them to do. Kind of being a little bit manipulative when it comes to your energy. Um, or this could be your person, you know, but I'm, I'm being guided to let you know you don't have to go about it that way um, this time around, okay? Um, I feel like you want this person and they want you. Now, what's coming in is with this religious factor. One of the religious factors here, your love life is being influenced by your religious upbringing and spirituality. Yes, yeah, so you guys see things differently. I feel like there is a bump, bumping head here. I'm getting something as uh, uh, juvenile as, like if, if you're dealing with the masculine male energy, I feel like they are very much in their feminine energy. There's things that you like them to do without asking them. As simple as taking out the trash, cleaning out the backyard, um, mowing the lawn, putting gas in your tank, um, you know, things that most masculine male energies are just prone to do because they are protectors, they are providers, they are um, head of household, um, so to speak, if we're talking in a traditional sense, religious factors here, and I feel like there's someone lacking um, it could be vice versa. And I'm really getting like trivial things that are causing issues or being an influence in this relationship. We have the five of pentacles here. Um, there could definitely be someone feeling a bit isolated or left out or ostracized here. Um, I am getting an energy that either you or your person discuss your issues with other people. I'm also getting like dirty looks. So be aware if this is you, Capricorn, who you're discussing your issues about your partner with. Um, because you could very well be okay with going back to this person. But whomever you decide to confide into, they may still have ill feelings towards your person every time they see them. So they might give them dirty looks or give them some type of energy that they know that you're not happy. All right, so be aware. All right, let's see what energy needs to come in to balance this connection. Give me Capricorns. What does Capricorn need to balance right now in order for this connection to together, be successful, move forward, forgiveness, okay, you have forgiveness, Capricorn, so there is some, there is a need to open up your heart chakra, um, there is a need to kind of allow yourself to show some type of understanding or compassion towards somebody, um, I am getting the energy um, towards someone's upbringing, um, because I do get an energy that there's a misunderstanding in the way someone was raised or you just don't understand why they don't know simple things. Um, and some of you guys could have came out very harsh or thrashed or you could have maybe said some things that you don't mean or you didn't mean. Um, or maybe vice versa, this person said some things that they didn't mean towards you where they don't understand how you were brought up or raised. Um, and forgiveness is here. So this is for you, Capricorn. So I feel like there's going to be a need for you to practice forgiveness. You could start with yourself, I'm hearing. Bittersweet flew out, but let's go ahead and set the intention. Give me the energy for Capricorn's person. What do they need to balance? And this is... Uh, Sorry, 
are you guys? I don't know if I'm covered by. Okay, yeah, no, this is the indigo. So this is the uh, crown or third eye. The crown. So a lot of meditating, opening up your, your crown and your heart. I get it. Um, I'm getting. Then we have quest, okay? For your person. So I do feel like they are on a quest to finding. Um, I'm getting the energy of finding um, out certain things from their past. I see them kind of speaking with the elders and their family, maybe going back, speaking to their mother, their father, their grandparents, um, kind of wanting to get answers, all right? So throat chakra here for your person, maybe it's time for them to speak up and let people know um, in their family that they need a better understanding in regards to their upcoming, their upbringing, their life because it's affecting them in the relationships um, that they've been trying to cultivate. And now, because they're with you or they're dealing with you, Capricorn, they're going the extra length. There's been a long quest for this person, but you've really pushed them to go the extra mile to get answers in regards to their um, the way they were brought up are these learned behaviors they're they're trying to unlearn some behaviors but they know they have to go back in order to heal these things moving forward okay so that's what i have for you capricorn i hope this helped make sure you like share comment and subscribe and i will see you next time i share